I think it was in um in Cowboy's show where I was they were discussing um Xbox and the show before that it was because in PlayStation zero interest in those two zero uh but that's just me the only thing interesting is that Xbox is moving towards cloud especially with that dongle I was listening to the conversation listening in, listening to them talk wow that's hard to say and I was like you know what right now these companies Xbox and PlayStation they're using cloud gaming as an addition to their console experience right uh, consoles have limited storage you know what I mean if you're a long support long long time supporter of that platform you have you probably have a huge library that you can't download and install and play otherwise you it takes time and 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 storage so right now cloud gaming for them it's an addition it's an extra service that's why you have to pay for it that's why you pay 14.99 for x uh, game pass ultimate and that's why you pay whatever however much playstation is going to be because it's an addition to the console at what point let's see i want i want your input on this because i think it's at what point is xbox and playstation going to offer their consoles as an addition a supplement a supplemental to their cloud game see what i'm saying it looks like it was going to be this year with the xbox dongle or was it next year but it's, it sounds like they moved that along i wonder if they realize it's too early i wonder if they're like okay obviously cloud gaming is the future uh do we want to do this now and hurt our future xbox sales or did they decide you know what we're gonna hold up until the life uh life of this xbox uh x and s what's the word what's the word the life not life expectancy but what life cycle of this xbox comes to an end like the playstation switch is i mean the, the nintendo switch is coming to an end pretty soon i think and then we'll put it out see what i'm saying so when we realize when we realize that any more consoles are not going to sell like they sold in the past that's when we'll drop this dongle and that's when we start dropping all these apps on tvs maybe maybe this is a test for them instead of dropping the, uh, the dongle they're going to be on samsung tvs and maybe they won't need to uh release a dongle and spend money on hardware anymore because hardware costs money i guarantee you most of these console de uh console developers are losing money uh if not barely breaking even with these consoles you know what i mean so what do you guys think do you think that in a five years or ten years xbox and playstation and nintendo are just gonna be cloud services that if you're a fan you can buy a console or you can order a dongle you know what i mean slower than expected yeah and i think i think it has to do with the internet infrastructure still so i don't i don't put it on the cloud gaming uh, uh providers yet i also think some people live in areas where streaming isn't viable i know a few area near areas near me that get really slow speed still yeah but then okay hold on let me and before i answer that let me read the other one us for sure needs another seven ten years to improve its network infrastructure i like how wilson was making fun of us was it wilson or halt i think halt was making fun of the america's internet infrastructure um i think consoles will be around for a bit longer they need to be appear for everyone same as like how vinyl players are around how many vinyl players are around now compared to you know 30 40 years ago you know what i mean and at one point at what point are consoles just going to be for decorative purposes it seems to me that because i take my nintendo switch when i go to my training because i'm in the woods uh infantry driver so i'm in the woods um no batteries no power so i take an extra big battery pack uh and then i try to play a game and that game requires you to be online to play it so i got five cartridges five games you can see them right there so i got let's say five games that i can play offline because they're cartridges i got animal crossing that i can play online and all, but you know the fun of animal crossing is being able to go to other people's islands you need online for that 
I got Monster Hunter because somebody recommended it. I like it. I like I like it a lot. You can only play the village uh, quest. I'm pretty sure, right? Which I completed on uh, offline. Everything else is online. Even when you look at consoles today, most of the games on there, unless they're old from a certain period, but all the most of the newer games, they're online based. You know what I mean? Indies. Indies are the ones that are, uh, you know, a lot of them don't require you to be on, require you to be online. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> that's what people complain that Stadia has too many Indies. My upload speeds are capped at 12 megabits, uh, which honestly isn't good. Download is great though, 250 megabits. But I have that. You know what? I paid extra for my internet. I doubled everything. So I had 400 megabits download. 20 megabits upload and i was still struggling with stadia because it was the ping the ping from here to the san francisco servers that was messing me up yeah there's no i mean there's no hope for us here for fiber in hawaii so i i literally consider moving just so i can have fiber t, uh, fiber internet especially when that google fiber came out so i don't know it sounds like most of you guys think it's going to be a long time before uh, before cloud becomes the the dominant uh, form for gaming um and it sounds unfortunately it sounds like it's not really up to the the uh tech guys it's not even up to like microsoft or sony or, or google it's up to our um go not government yes government but not government it's our our uh, system <laughs> i can't think of the word infrastructure it's, uh, it's up to our infrastructure